Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, uh, let's talk about another advanced ca use case uh, when we are doing Okta and Google integration. So in this uh, use case, uh, you know, we have been using Google, let's say, from quite some time, or maybe we have done like a, a proof of concept, or we ran a Google pilot, and we already created a lot of our users in Google already. Now we need to manage everything, the user lifecycle via Okta. And they usually, uh, I've seen questions like, what would happen when we turn on Okta for user lifecycle management? Will Okta go ahead and delete all the users that already exist in Google? If not, how will that look like? So I wanted to address that specific use case in this video. So for that, let me show you my uh, setup here first. So when I go to, let me close this slide show here. So when I go to my uh, user admin console, uh, in Google Cloud Identity or in G Suite, I see that we have these three users, admin at ID, Okta service, and test user. Okay, And let us add uh, quickly one more user, and let's call it uh, already created. Okay, And uh, let's add this new user. So this is directly added to Google. Now in my case, these are just like uh, four, three or four users. In your case, they there might be a bunch of users, but the concept will remain same. So we have these users here and when I go to Okta I know that this user is directly created here so I will obviously not find uh, this in Okta. Right, it, this is not in Okta. Now I want to turn on uh, user management in Okta but I want to make sure that this user should not be deleted because this user might have some you know, email or Google Drive data or might have uh, owned some projects in Google Cloud Platform, etc. So I will go to Okta and show you how you can handle this specific use case. So when I go to Okta, I will search for my applications, which is uh, G Suite. Okay, I'll go to G Suite. And then on G Suite, I see this Import tab. Okay. And this will only appear once you configure your G Suite, once you enable single sign-on. And if you have not watched my previous videos, I will suggest you to watch the first one, which is about how you can uh, provision your users from Okta to G Suite. That would help. And once you're in the Import tab here, what it essentially does is it lets you fetch users from Google Cloud Identity or from G Suite to Okta. Okay. So here I will click on Import now. When I click on import, it will call Google's uh, directory API and ideally it should fetch all the users from here and it says that it has fetched three new users imported. When I click on OK, now here it will show me all the users that it imported from Google side and also it shows me the respective Okta user assignment, whether a user exists in Okta as well with that same email address as of Google user email. So as you see it fetched admin at id.goldiorar.com and it says exec match found because uh, there was an email uh, user exists in Okta with that same email so it says exact match. Okta service it seems that there is one more account already exist with the same email so there this is fine but the last one that we created directly which is already at mydomain.com that user is not yet available in Okta and it says no Okta user match found so what I'm gonna show you now is I will select all of these users you can select the ones you want but essentially what it's gonna do it next is when I click on confirm assignment it will merge this Google user profile to this exact user match profile. Okay, and this user, the one that is already available, will now have G Suite application assignment. Okay, however, where the user is not found in Okta but in Google, it is asking me that I should ideally be creating a new user in Okta for this one. So I will select it and that's fine with me. I will click on confirm assignments. I will auto activate user after confirmation. When I click on confirm based on my settings I really the new user that is created will get an email that is profile has been created and now when I uh, go to this user this user should have been created 
and should have also been granted a G Suite application as you see here okay because this user already has G Suite and uh, we merged uh, his uh, profile with a new user which already has G Suite so let's talk about the result now I'm sorry if it was confusing but let's talk about two scenarios one you have some users in Google and these users are already available in Okta as well but you have not yet assigned G Suite or Google Cloud Platform application to these users when you do the import these Google users will come in Okta and Okta will ask you to just you know, do that mapping so that these users now become Okta users but also with G Suite application assigned no no issues uh, for these users when they log into their uh, their profile they will see Google there they can access it everything would work fine now the second use case where you have users created in Google but these users are not yet created in Okta that means they do not even exist in Okta for even other applications if that's the case then when you do the import from Google to Okta Okta will tell you well you are importing from Google but I do not have uh, an Okta profile for these users and it will ask you to create that if you really want that so once you click on create for those users Okta will create new users for those Google users and assign them Google application so in short regardless of which category you fall in your users will not have any disruption they should be able to just access Google Cloud or G Suite or whatever is assigned to them absolutely fine okay in case if you create new user they might get an email uh, from Okta or from your company saying create your Okta profile they will just create their Okta profile there and then they will be shown uh, the assigned Google application as you see on my screen this user is in pending uh, user action state because this user will need to create the Okta profile okay so now one more thing that I wanted to show you is if I go to my applications and if I go to G Suite you will see that the users that were imported from uh, from Google these uh, four users they say that these three users the one this one I have already so these three users they have the individual status okay now I do not want to grant them individual access because that is not scalable for me ideally I should put them in a group so that I can apply the group based policy and for that what you can do is first thing which you should do is go to your provisioning tab in your provisioning make sure that the direction is Okta to G Suite click on edit and you should disable deactivate users first okay because what we need to do is remove those users individual assignment and put them into that group so as soon as you remove their individual assignments they will lose access to Google and they will be suspended in Google we do not want that to happen so that's why we will come here deactivate should be disabled save changes okay now we will go to assignments and we will let's say uh, assign uh, we will delete their individual assignments for example test user okay or maybe let's say already created okay so now we have deleted those couple of users for example or maybe we can delete all of them from here so now as we have deleted all those four users individual assignment we can go to assign to groups and then you should have that group where you know all those four users are member of that group and then you can assign this to group and once you do that those four users will show here as the group assignment instead of individual and once that is done then you will go back to provisioning and then Okta to G Suite turn it turn the deactivation of users back on so essentially what we just achieved is instead of individual assignments we have assigned group based assignment for those users okay so just to wrap it up uh, let me summarize it number one you should import your Google users in Okta number two you should see which users already exist in Okta you should merge their Google and Okta profile 
you will also see there which users are imported from Google that are not yet created in Okta. You should create them so that they are created plus they will have automated assignments of uh, Google application and then once that happen you should disable deactivation so that uh, you can remove their individual assignments from assignment tab and then you can assign them back but as a part of group so that they become group based assignment once that happen as a last step you will go back to provisioning and turn the deactivation on and by the way I have uh, step by step screenshot uh, instructions on my blog post about this if you prefer that with that thank you so much hope it was helpful to you if you have any questions comments feedback do not hesitate to put it under this video and I'll be happy to help thank you so much